and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Katie and today we're going to be looking at what I keep in my morning devotion time basket. Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me. I actually have two baskets. I used to have a great big one if you've seen my previous video. I will link it up here and down in the description box. I used to have this huge basket which was great because we only had kind of the living room and the dining room where I would sort of sit and do my Bible study. But in this house there's a lot of different rooms that I like to sit in depending on the time of day and where the lighting is because I like to sit in the rooms that kind of bright and airy to do my Bible study. So I just decided to split my things into two different baskets so it made it easier to transport around. So this is the first basket that is my everyday use basket it's got all of my current reads everything that I'm currently using so I'll show you this one first well, I just have some of my mild liners these are all um, mixed up this isn't the kind of packs that they come in and um, you don't like kind of buy these colors together but I've just kind of over time used them and just popped them back in any of the boxes which is why there's kind of some missing because the colors have run out and then they're just kind of yeah, mixed together but I absolutely love these if you're looking for highlighters and you've never heard of these and you want ones that do not bleed through your bible these are the ones I would highly recommend they do not bleed through and they have such a gorgeous variety of colors for you to use so they are the business then in here I've also got my morning devotional book so if you follow me on Instagram you will know all about this and I am really enjoying this. I like to just have quick and easy kind of reads on a morning. It just has a scripture then a little passage and then a prayer at the bottom so it's nice and easy to do on a morning and with that I also read New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. You've seen this in previous videos. This is just another great devotion. This tends to have kind of a thought at the top and then some reading and then the scripture at the bottom. And then the Bible that I've been using this year and absolutely loving is this Artisan Collection Bible. I've got a whole video showing you through this if you're interested. It's an absolutely beautiful Bible. I really love it. And this is just kind of my Bible where I really kind of get into the word. I just stick post-it notes in and make personal notes, I do highlights, I just kind of, you know, don't hold back in this Bible. This is just my go-to and I really love, I know it's probably a bit wasteful and I don't need this many Bibles, but I love to get a new Bible for Christmas and then fill it in through the year. But I have got quite a few videos on this particular Bible. So I'll link them down below and you can check them out if you want to. So that's my first basket. That's kind of my every day, every morning I grab that I sit down and I do my Bible study. And then my second basket is a lot heavier. So this one is just from TK Maxx. It's actually a magazine rack. I just love how I can kind of store everything vertically in here and then I can just grab what I need. So I'll just pull things out of here and show you. So the first thing I've got in here is this Bible, which is NIV. And I just like this one because it has sunflowers all over and it's a nice bright kind of pop of color. And it's also large print. So the reason that I got this Bible was for when I'm having days where I don't want to take any notes, I don't want to highlight, I just want to sit down and read the Bible. So more often than not I will use my journal and Bible because I love to take notes when I'm reading but if I'm just kind of lying in bed or sitting on the couch and I just want to read a story out of the Bible or just get some extra kind of reading in then I will grab this one because I just find it's such an easy read with that larger print text it's nice and clear and I don't do any highlighting in this it's just purely for reading so I keep that in this case because I noticed it was starting to get marked I don't know if you can see there but it was starting to get marked when it wasn't in the case so we'll keep it in there then I've just got a big to-do list I've showed you this in my monthly reset videos but I just like to keep a big to-do list handy then I've also got a fancier to-do list when I'm feeling fancy which is not very often um let me show you a blank page I think I've showed you this before actually but it's just a little to-do list book but it's a lot more kind of daily routine focused if i'm ever feeling super focused i use this one and then i've got this gorgeous vegan leather journal which i use to take bible study notes and things in um, it's like a, it opens right out and it wraps all the way around i just love this but yeah i just kind of write prayers in here i take notes in here don't worry at all about kind of people seeing this it's just my own private journal um for whenever i'm reading the bible and there's something that sticks out to me or i want to write a prayer down um but this all comes from when i'm sitting with my bible and doing my bible reading more than a personal journal because i've got a personal journal as well so i use this purely for kind of 
Bible journaling, anything that has stood out to me, anything that I think God might be speaking to me about, any prayers that I w that come to mind while I'm reading my Bible, all go in here and then I just can't wait until it's all filled up and I can kind of look back and see what God has been saying to me over the year and things like that. So whenever this is full, I will be purchasing another one because I just think this is such a good little idea. So you get five little notebooks in here already kind of sewn in for you and and it was pretty inexpensive from what I remember. So I absolutely love that. And then I've just got a notebook. It's just a pink notebook from Go Stationery London. And I just keep my gratitude lists in here. Then I've got the most boring pencil case in the world. I actually bought this when I got that personal assistant job and um, because I thought it was super professional and I've just used it ever since. It's not really my style, but hey ho. So in here, I've just got some of these Colourpop pens post-it notes um, and lots and lots of different style biros and then for some reason I've got some lipstick, a ruler and a fist stick in here as well because you know, <laughs> you just never know, <laughs> might need to freshen up during bible study time and then I have my good old trusty Toza book. I absolutely adore this book. You'll know that if you've seen any of my videos. I think I go on about Toza and like them all. Um, but I've just got kind of post notes in here that have fallen out, pages that are turned over. Um, I absolutely adore this book. It's dropping to bits, but that's a sign of a well loved book. It's got so many highlights and notes and things in. Like literally, the pages have fallen out, which is not ideal i need to go in and fix that really so that's my toza book i read this all of the time i just absolutely love this book if i was ever to recommend any book to people this is the one and then finally i've just got my louis vuitton planner this is the gm damier a bean print probably totally butchered the pronunciation of that but yeah that's the one and in here i just use filofax inserts i've got the filofax 2022 inserts in here and i also purchased the filofax file dividers as well just because i thought they were pretty this is in the garden print i believe all of amazon and then i also purchased these kind of plasticky filofax dividers along with their rainbow paper pack and i absolutely love this agenda and i've started using it a lot more and it's helping me be more organised. So, kudos to that. And then the last thing in here is just two more packs of post-it notes, which I will pop in my pencil case to keep them safe and not get all grubby. So that's everything that I keep in my Bible baskets. Like I say, I've got two, one for super convenient everyday use. And the other one is for everything that I use regularly, but not necessarily every single day. So I hope you found this video helpful or at least interesting. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. I really appreciate you and I really appreciate that you've clicked on this video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.